Hi, my name is Patrick. We're back with the beginning of episode five of Life is Strange. And we wrapped up at the end of episode four, but as we start episode five, I do want to add a caveat. Um, I anticipate that this part of the game is going to be fairly dark. Uh, and so viewer discretion is advised as we jump in. I hope you're all having a great Saturday evening. Let's get started. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how! What the fuck? And there he is, that son of a... Life is Strange is a story-based game that will feature player choice. The consequences of all your actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Hi, Pierre Shane, Queen City Q. Thanks for joining in. If they, I mean, this game came out in 2015, so textures were pretty good then. So I'm wondering if they left the textures fairly low res on purpose. Lovely. Come on, Max. Wake up. Chloe? What? Where? Oh, it's a dark room. Yep. Great. Is anybody out there? Please help! 
Victoria, hello. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too? This is so bad. Oh, great. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Great. Um... Help! Somebody help me! Of course. And right in front of me. Lovely. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. Um... Can I look at the trolley as a whole? Oh, no, God, I'm looking at the syringe again. I don't remember anything that happened. Yeah, is this, this, yeah. This must be the same drug <laughs> Nathan used on Kate. No kidding. Can I get this off? <clears throat> These straps are hurt. That's, that's great. <clears throat> oh, there's something. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Almost. Um, yes, trolley. If I could move it towards me. Sure. Uh, Fortunately, it's not a dead person in leather straps. That's not that much, at least. Jeez. Things have just gotten from, like, woohoo kitty stuff to holy shit. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I guess we're go. Oh, okay, so I can still do the jumping through photos thing. Is there anything else? I doubt there's anything else I can do. Well, let's. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Yeah. Okay, that's focused. This is really weird. Oh, that's great. That's great? Oh, nice. For who? Psycho. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. You psycho. Christ. Look at that perfect face. You absolute psychotic piece of shit. Hold that stare there! Oh, God. Stay still! You are a psycho. Holy crap. Oh, what's up with the background? Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Really? Yes. I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. You are a weird psycho. Dude. Don't Seriously. move! Don't move. Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. What? Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I oh, had to do wow. was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Cool. 
Chloe. Chloe, right. Hey, I'm sorry that I killed, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. Oh, cute. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Well, you'll be Though I very promise, wrong there, sir. People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Let's kick him in the face right there, yeah? Just, just whack. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Oh, really, dude. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Oh. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Jesus, dude. Yeah, there you go. Good. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. What? God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Very creepful alert. No kidding. So there's no photo now? There's a... No, he's pissed because there's many... There's many photos? I don't quite get we'll see oh jesus i can't believe that happened so sick oh there's a lot of photos now okay okay um is it the camera staring at me what i'd really like to smash that fancy camera into jefferson's face what is that wait Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Okay. No. Oh, that picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, shit. We know. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max. I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Okay, nobody's gonna die. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is gonna die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Well, at least she's alive. 
We're both here. We're both here, okay? I just can't believe this is happening. That Jefferson would do this to me, to us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Okay, Victoria, you're, you're... I've warned you about Nathan. Uh, you went well... to Jefferson for help. It's all my fault. What's that over there? Okay, I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Sure, yeah. So does that mean... Oh, no, that was after, not before. Please. Please get us out of here, Max. I'm working on it, kid. All right. What's this photo? Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. Is it worth rewinding to talk to Victoria and see different conversation branches? Well, we just did, so I guess... We're gonna find out. <laughs> Keep going. Alright. Yes. All of that. Um, I said nobody's gonna die. I have a plan. Victoria, please or listen. Did I say that last time? I don't remember. I have a plan. Yeah. Really? How? Yeah, well, Max, we can't explain that. I'm so scared. Can we? So am I. But we don't have time to be scared. We have to fight back. Now. Max. I can't even move my arms. How are we supposed to fight? I'm not going to let that asshole get away. Okay. We need to... I'm not... We'll see her again. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here. And then we can both go see her again. Okay? i do anything to see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria. We'll Max. get out of here. We will definitely get out of here. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do this. This might work. Please work. Hopefully this doesn't cause, like, the chain reaction of too many jumps. Freakerton. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. Really? You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Because I'm a freak. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. So Most psycho. models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. My victims. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Yeah, you killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. Yeah, well... It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Yeah, well, Kate survived, Kate bitch. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? 
Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Well. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Oh, uh, you use Nathan. You use Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. Yikes. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. Oh, yes. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. The psycho Did the you psycho. tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Yes, Rachel. Hmm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Yes. Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. You in general are anyway, not cool, sorry. Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared um. more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. Well. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. Yeah. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. Yeah. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. What? Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Well then. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. What the hell? Um, I know I can break my foot. Is there? Oh, there. What's that? Yes. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. Cantor, just to let you know, I did see that. Um, in interest of this particular stream, I'm gonna wait until the end to do this, but I will do them. Uh, okay. Sure. Yeah. So we gotta do what? Well, that was a little too far. Okay, sure. Okay. Wait. Please. Mr. Jefferson. Max. I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Uh, show me the photos. Let me go. What are you going to do? My diary. I kind of want to see what the branching... Hmm. What are you going to do? What? What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. Okay. That sucks. Yes, come on. I didn't want to skip both of those, but, you know, this works. Wait! 
Uh, show me the photos. Could you... Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Okay. Sure. Are you going to show me the photos, though? That's my question. I guess you better not. Ask him something else. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, why does it just skip that one when I don't want to skip it? I'm only pressing so far, but okay. I guess I'm pressing the wrong button in that process. Yes. Thank you, Max. Speaky, Wait. speaky. Uh, let me go, sure. Let me go and I'll help you. Let me help you. Please. Don't beg. Never beg. Really? I hate that. Who would have known? Anyway, let's enjoy our final moment before I have to end our memorable session with your death. That's just great. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's why. Yeah, I was skipping too far. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I guess I go all the way. All the way it is. All the way back. Wait. Yes, please, Mr. Jefferson, my diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh. Look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Sucker. And that is how manipulation works. There we go. Yes. Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Yeah, here we go. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Oh, God. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic trip. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe ever again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Oh boy. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry. What's with the... I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yeah, Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> okay then. So, uh... The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. Everything he says in you context is so much more different now. You can finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. Uh, no, I'm just smarter than you, dude. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artist. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. Yeah. Melissa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the context is so much different. I have to okay. warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. David, okay. Um, what do we have? Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? Yeah, no kidding. I hope I still love photography when this is done. 
Don't confuse the art with the artist. <laughs> Bastard. Uh... This diary literally saved my life. I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. Oh, okay, good, good. It's Kate, Kate's dealing with her, yeah, whole thing. Uh, okay. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, I have to read this just because. Meet your professors, Mark Jefferson. After blazing a trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-published detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's classes on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and his students will certainly go on to inspire others with their own vision. Thank Sicko. you. All right, uh, David, I hope I don't just actually have to write that down. Um, 6308243, go chat. I believe in you. 555 6308243. Okay, good, good enough. Okay. Cell phone time. For once, David. Okay, good. I don't need I'm it. I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much Thanks, as everything Hunter. else. And take Jefferson down fast. Yeah, and Mark Jefferson is guilty. His dark room is another. You know the location. He's sick and dangerous. Stop him. Message deleted. Oh, I you sent it and, and deleted the contest, it. Contest, asshole. Okay. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco, and Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay, so now she's like, whoa. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Might be. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up the world for the image? Because I suck, but Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. And he's a sin. Get over yourself. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. Yes, I do. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. <laughs> right. In the end. Not impressed anymore. <laughs> yeah, where did you get all the stuff, right? Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. Uh-huh. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art. Uh, I don't have to remember life. it. The world. Eight six seven five three zero nine. I can't go past these photo boundaries, so. Oh. I need to fix. Okay. An everyday hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. Yes, he is. Okay, so we're we're stuck in the photo while we're fixing things. Got it. Um. Okay. One second. Um. Oh, I got some reading to do. I mean, this might be a good opportunity to do it. Polarized. We can. Oh, Kate! Look, Kate's so cute in that photo. Oh, she's so cute. She is very cute in that photo. All right. Um. Okay. Reading time. Wait, I didn't finish Thursday. Okay. Uh, sixty-three finalists. Okay, clean of the irony. Time was in an eco danger. Okay. As if to remind me of Arcadia's Bay's ticking doomsday clock, I actually saw two moons in the sky over the horizon, or that's what it looked like briefly before the clouds rolled over. I squinted and actually rubbed my eyes like a dork just to make sure my iris wasn't foggy. Was this another sign or an environmental illusion? Uh, other people saw it too, except Chloe didn't see anything besides vengeance. So she went into the gym looking for Nathan before I could catch up. Nathan doesn't know that he's running out of time too. No irony intended. We are. My first and last Vortex Club party. Flashing lights and DJ Doom, no comment, spinning. In an alternate reality, I might have been at this party standing in the corner, shy and nervous, waiting for somebody to ask me to dance, but being terrified if that happened. And that would have been the limits of my problems. Now look at me. But first, I had to find Cl uh, but I had to find Chloe first, and then Nathan before she shot him. No matter how evil I thought Victoria was, she's actually just a terribly insecure person with talent, passion, and a tendency to be a cruel dick for no reason. I have to see beyond our petty mean girl drama and assume she has a role to play in all of this too. So we talked like human beings and I warned her without specifics about Nathan. She believed me and it felt so warm to make a connection with my previous enemy. A sliver of light in all this darkness, let there be more. October 11, I guess. 
I watched Chloe die again, killed by my favorite teacher. Why? Because we were stupid and let Jefferson trick us with the Tony text. So we ended up back at the junkyard and fell right into his trap. And we should have called the police the second we found Rachel, but I had gone too, along too far with Chloe. I keep thinking I'm invincible, that I'm a real everyday superhero, but no, I'm just Max Caulfield. Maybe all my powers are an accident of fate, or I'm being punished like Chloe. What have we done to deserve all this pain? What did Rachel do? Kate? William? Then there's Mark Jefferson. I can't ever call him Mr. again. I'm still shocked that he turned out to be the one hiding behind the dark room. But I think back in those pictures of time, Jefferson has been dropping hints all along. Pieces of time, Jefferson. Uh, uh, but I think back on those pieces of time, Jefferson has been dropping hints all along. It makes me sick to think how he's been doing, how long he's been doing this for, and to whom. The needle. I can still feel the needle on my skin. Thank God I can't remember Jefferson posing me for the most of his sixth session. Imagine all those other people who had to suffer through that horror like Rachel and Kate. That made me determined to get out of that room and at least stop him and save Chloe. I had to use my focus rewind on multiple photos so often that even I got confused. Where still, I knew I was screwing around with various realities again, but I had no other choice. Chloe would not die in a junkyard next to Rachel Amber. And there was no fucking way I was going to let Jefferson be the last person I ever saw. It's hard to even imagine in the studio alone with Jefferson acting like that. Everything was so neat and sterile, but it felt like the filthiest place on earth. If I didn't have this ability to bend time, what would I have done? What could I have done? Sometimes I felt removed like I was just looking at myself going through this hell, but thanks to Jefferson's class photo, he personally helped me to escape. I also feel so terrible that Victoria had to end up in there with me just because I warned her about Nathan. Should have known that she would rush to Jefferson for protection instead. He kidnapped her and almost murdered her because of me. I never forget, I'll never forget the way Jefferson looked at me, so cold and mean. It felt like I was one of those awful true crime shows my mom binge watches. How does somebody become evil? He actually shot Chloe in the head. Just like that. Motherfucker. Wish the police had taken Nathan in after I told Principal Wells that he drugged Kate. He might still be alive, and maybe he would have taken down Jefferson too. Okay. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. Yup. But I better let David take care of everything. Yeah, David will be the guy who does the thing. The 90s are over for you, asshole. Yes, they are. Hey, Kate. Poor Kate. Yeah. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, Kate. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Well, that's not true, but, you know, I always know the right thing to do in retrospect. Yes, photo. <laughs> I'm surprised you put up with that. Hug it out. Very true. Alright, yes, there's the... This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Yes, it is. Eh? Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. It's like I'm in this little pocket dimension of time and space, and that's kind of funky. All right. Um, other photos, equipment, burning whales, weird things. Okay. I think yeah, we can move a little faster. Ah, yes. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Well, maybe that's where, you know, the inevitable everything's going to happen. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Yeah, there is. Anybody who says otherwise, I'm a sock em. There's still booty left in Arcadia Bay. I mean, beauty. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Yeah. I see right through your bullshit, Jefferson. Everybody else will, too. Everybody else will? Oh. 
that thing. I'd like to bust this up right now. That's a weird, like, so that looks more like a video camera to me than a digital camera, but I guess of the time, okay, yeah, I can kind of see how it, maybe it's both. Okay. Not like I actually know my photography equipment in any way whatsoever. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Oh. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. Wow. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. Wow. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? Wow, Max, you're just like... You could inspire people. Total okay, smackdown. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. He's like, well, fine. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Oh, wow. Bye, Vicky. You're that all good. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Jeez, could you be dripping with more sarcasm? Oh, uh, that was easy. No. <laughs> it wasn't easy at all. Yeah, man. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, Ugh. the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Ugh. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're yeah. going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Whoa. Yiko. Yike, yike, big yikes. Big whoa. Okay, so that didn't happen. Or no, that, okay, that still didn't happen. But. That still happened. Okay, so why is it showing me all these things that still happened? Oh, shit. They found the dark room. Okay. Nice. Yeah, no Kate on a roof, that's for sure. Ah, uh, Rachel. Yeah. Yay, my photo of me in front of photos. In front of photos. Or Max's, I should say. Well. No toasted Chloe either. Us just cruising and hanging and me packing. Okay. Or Max packing. And he stop saying me. Oh, thank goodness that's not a thing anymore. And we're off to San Fran? Oh, wake Whoa. up, Max. That's got to be funky okay. jumping, jumping through okay, your own Max. body like that. You're safe on a plane. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Is that the principal next to me? Oh, he's totally. I zonked. hope I did everything right this time. I hope so too. What does that say? Local teacher arrested. Yeah. Good work, David. Yeah. Okay. Now what though? So proud of you started your career. Chloe, oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. That is also very I did good. It. Well, we did you something. Fixed everything. I hope so. Well, sir. I really hope so, because it seems like butterfly effect. You know, any other number of things could have happened. Just like when we went back in time and Chloe was wheelchair bound. And don't rest yet, Max. Oh, hey, I can do stuff. 
to admit, I love being called an artist. Everyday heroes display an artist reception at the Zeitgeist Gallery. Okay. It's so weird to be in between realities. It's like literal. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. What was that? Okay. Uh. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Hot Dog Man? Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Hot Dog Man. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Okay. Two Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claim the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe the imaginations that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Okay. What? Sir, these are FCC rules. Shut off your phone, sir. Shut off your phone, sir? That that makes me like, you know, phone bomb. Alright, let's poke at buttons on a screen. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Really? I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. Yeah, he's not a drunkard anymore. After how did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. No. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, well. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic. To say the least. That I is the totally truth. totally get it, Principal Wells. Yeah, you do, Max. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Yeah. Way to be upbeat, Max. Oh, Shiza. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Yeah, well. Wait, that was a photo? I guess that was a thing. Okay. So we leave there. We get through the airport. Okay, TSA isn't too frisky. And we're at the hotel reception. Do we just go straight to the reception? Is this one of those? A rot? Yeah, we go straight to the reception. Got it. That's cool. And everybody's got their fancy champagne. I'm always reminded of that Christopher Walken bit on Saturday Night Live. Would you like some champagne? The Continental. It's all real, Max. You can you can just like soak it in and chill for a bit, okay? You've been through a lot. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long <laughs> as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. Really? I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, 
After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. Well. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was oh, young. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> nobody wants to listen to your your crap. Sorry. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Okay, good. Go do that, uh, please. Better get in there and start schmoozing. Sure, you know, yes. I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Sure thing, dude. Max, come you need on, to at Max. least learn to stand up straight. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. On the threshold. That's a really good... Really well composed shot of her just standing there getting ready to walk into the gallery. All right. Wow, um, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Yeah. Life is weird. Life is weird? No, no. Life is strange. I need to drop some serious cash in there. Give the gift of art. No, you don't. This are you kidding? This gallery is full of money. It doesn't need you to add more money to it. Okay. Uh, we got one more page. I can't believe I was able to focus and rewind into my selfie all the way back to art class on Monday. I turned in my photo for the contest after I sent a text to David warning him about Jefferson. Whew. The only reason I haven't had a total meltdown is the fact that I do have this incredible power. I have to use it right for once. And maybe never again. It was weird to be in class with Jefferson like I wasn't just tortured by him in an underground bunker. I saw him for the first time as he is, a creepy, manipulative psychopath filled with bullshit. He uses art and passion to seduce people, but behind that there's nothing but hate and perversion. I only pray that I can fix this timeline, not fuck it up. Max to the future. It feels like I finally made things right. Chloe's alive, David Madsen became a real everyday hero by busting... Jefferson and his dark room, along with Nathan and his father. The Prescotts have lost control of Arcadia Bay. Now, I'm the official everyday hero. On my way to San Francisco with Principal Wells, who is a lot more funny and laid back when he's not stressing about Blackwell Academy. It's hard for me to totally relax, but all these pieces of time seem to be falling into place. What do we got? We got a lot of texts to read, too. Oh, these private number things are... Yeah, okay. What's up, Warren Bourne? Uh... Okay, sit down, science. Oh, yeah, okay, so up to this point is the same. Jefferson, insane, right? Did you ever suspect him? What? He just seems like a cool teacher. I thought you kind of crushed on him. Sorry, you should be. I admired his work, not anymore. Fucking his history. Yes, he is. Do I have to make an appointment to see you now? Oh, please, but yes, you do. It's so cool that you want things, Warren. It feels weird. You're cute, Warren. You're, you're totally dorky, but, you know, you're trying. Uh, okay, um, mom. We are proper proud. You know we always believe in you and your photos. Of course you did. That's why I'm at Blackwell. Uh, oh, okay. Don't drown it either. Maxine, are you there? Are you okay? I just heard on the news that this te art teacher you were always talking about is going on. I'm fine. Too much to text. It's crazy. I'll call you later. Promise. Hate you being away. Don't keep me waiting. Okay. That's cool. Hey, Kate. Uh, what about that? But. Da, da, ba, da. Kate, uh, Max, thank you for so much for talking. Things have been hard this week and showed up at the right time like an angel, your great friend. I'm so blessed. And don't you dare laugh. Never. You almost made me cry. Kate, I just know that I'm always by your side. Max, I want to thank you for giving me great advice about going to the police and telling them everything about Nathan. I appreciate you standing by me. Please don't mention me too much. I'm already in trouble and thanks for talking to me this morning. As usual, we're serious. Okay. Can't believe Nathan and Jefferson were arrested. Honestly, I'm in shock. I have to go talk to the police now and give a full statement. Please let me know if you need me. Scared, but I want to make sure both of them are put away and never hurt anybody again. I heard you won the contest. Your photos are so real and wonderful. It gives me hope that you're going to be discovered now. I have been discovered. Don't be so humble. Take a bow. I expect a full report of a high tea soon. Very cool. Dana. Working on a new cheer for you. Aw. She's a sweetie. Uh, I know mom is melting your phone. I understand why. Tell her not to worry. You're an adult now. You can tell her. I will. Soon. Chloe Blowy. Okay. Um, how far back are we going? What? What's going on? You okay? Crazy shit. His step soldier called the cops and took off. He had his gun. That's crazy. Especially after hooking up with you again in that snow day. We're together again. Insert insult here. Human emoji. <laughs> Text me back when you hear anything. On it. Good morning. Your ass better wake up. Wakey, 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 wakey. 
You mean wakey bakey? So what happened last night? Step SWAT got home late last night, all jacked up on about one of his investments. He might be right for a change. You funny. Meet me up at the two whales. Wish you had popped a cap in Frank's ass instead of giving him the gun. No, I do not wish that, and neither do you. Is it too late to rewind? I need to see you right now. I know what happened to Rachel. Please come at the lighthouse when you get this. Thanks for being with me yesterday. I keep trying to wake up like this is a nightmare. Why Rachel? She never heard. No, she didn't. I'm so sorry. How do we get over shit like this? We live. Rachel will want you to have a great life. That's truly the best. Now we really do have to take over the world. No, we just have to be there for each other. You're saying Max. Check this out. I had a little talk with Step Hero. Since he busted Jefferson, he is totally a different person and has been very cool and apologized for his behavior. Now you're family again. Whoa, sister, I did not cry in his arms, but he helped find Rachel and punish her killers. David obviously hella cares about my mom and probably me. Yes, I'm hella bored with nothing to do. What you doing, hippie? Some of us have homework. I did my paperwork for Bay City College. Awesome. One the everyday sorry. Holy shit, you rule. I'm so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. Glad I can share it with you. Damn right. Plus, Max, you deserve to win. No emoji. <laughs> Wow. Oh yeah, these are all the okay. Okay, so there's something in this gallery probably that I can do. We're all caught up though. What do we got here? Wow, sir. A Danny, a Lee, Danny Lee article. Article. Left my heart in San Francisco. Uh, do. I have no context as to who Danny Lee is, so I'm just gonna call that good. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. Uh, the very, very. Will not be televised. Uh, stop the startups. This is really kind of like prescient about the future there and the current state of things Holy in San shit. Francisco. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. Skull and Bones Hollow's Eve party. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? Druid festival. Samhain Druid. Aren't you supposed to not? Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Man. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not well, anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Yeah, yuck. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh, oh shit. Pretentious alert. Yeah, really. It's a thing. Hey, how's it going? Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Yeah, thanks, dude. Totally down. I'm hip, I'm schmoozing. I'm the cool kid on the block. There we go. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead for sure that's cool art books i wish i had time to go see those murals here <laughs> oh okay so we can look at the top one the zeitgeist gallery does have a cool history in frisco who calls it frisco uh, i mean san francisco yeah you, nobody calls it frisco kid sorry or maybe they do i don't know i don't live there i never thought i'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work Nice. Wow. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. That Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Well, that's really laying it on thick, don't you think? Why, good morning. No, we already, you must we already be have. Max Caulfield. Yeah, I'm walking away. Bye. Your Bye. You're still photo. talking. I'm over here. Bye. She's probably thinking, what the hell? She just walked away from me. All right. Uh, guest book. Yes, this is the thing. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. So inspiring. Not as good as last year. Totally going to start. Future photography. Lisa Simpsons. Cute. Thanks. Inspiring stuff. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Look oh. at this print. The depth of field. The colors. Look at the bulk of shape. This oh was God, definitely really? shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out those details. The story of a photo if you know how to look at all the details of a picture. Oh, this is so interesting, Matthew. I didn't think you knew about all that. When I was younger... Oh, God. I <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving too while I can. Oh, yeah, goodness. What's this? Oh. Hmm. That looks familiar. This might be too meta metaphoric. Nah, let's do it. We're just going to take the photo and call it good. 
Don't mind me, just snapping photos. Getting achievements. You know, that's how it goes. Hi there, how's it going? Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Yeah, like how my teacher is a psychotic beast man who nobody should ever have to deal with. Ever. That one is kind of silly. It's, 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 it is silly. It's the, the Ministry of Silly Walks. That's the whole point. I would love to have this on a shelf. It's, li Someday. it's literally an homage to the Ministry of Silly Walks. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Can we look? We no can look. Can we sit? We no can sit. We move on. We discover all the things. Look at Max looking all like, I'm hip, I'm cool, I'm in, I'm in Frisco. Don't ever call it Frisco. Okay, we're good. Coolio. So cool. Don't, don't overload on the, uh, the good stuff with the caviar there, buddy. Yes, food. Give food. You give food. I eat food. You give food. Give food. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. No, you know, okay. So this is this is a little, like, thing for me. My folks, or my mom is an artist, and so I have been to a lot of art receptions. And actually, the food at most of them is not that bad, especially in Hawaii, because we know how to do good food here. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Yes, he will. Good. But yeah, usually it's like good, like at least nachos with with la la or 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 pork la la. It's so good. It's tasty stuff. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have canceled our entries after what happened with Jefferson. Yes, he could have. Hey, don't don't touch it and and put it back. Just eat it. Okay, good. Don't just be like, I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna put it back. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. <laughs> I know it's kind of simple. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I, I don't handle it. Feel like a famous photographer yet? <laughs> Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist, but you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. You've made us proud with the great response to your work so far is that it's sure to get more and more kids to enroll so I get to keep my job. It is surreal. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. Yes, you should have. She's strong... And I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Yes, you should have. Or put my foot in his ass. That would have been better. You know, it, it, I tried to tell you. <laughs> this is a moment of comeuppance. No, it, Jefferson fooled us. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. No, you're just a little bit. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Yeah, oh, man. Those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Slam dunk. Money and power can only protect you for so long. Arcadia Bay. You enabled that shit, though. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson, and he even brought him to Blackwell. Well, strange weather. Maybe it's karma. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I hope so, too. I'm hoping this is a fresh start. Principal Wells. Yeah, I hope you're like not I such a before. turnover. You're an adult, pushover. Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, okay, at least Ray. For this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. I gotta touch more of those things and not actually eat them. Man. 
I talk to all the mans. Are you a man? You are not labeled a man. I cannot talk to you. I only talk to the man. Hey, man. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Yes. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Thanks, I guess. Like, I do not understand art. Oh, that's the same voice actress who did Chloe's mom. That's funny. Hey. How much would you pay for that? How much would you pay for that, James? Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. Okay. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. If that isn't a gigantic, like, look, here's Chloe, here's Max. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the, okay. Okay. Interesting. I wonder, like, what they decided to do for the art in this. Oh, there's a couch. Yes. I always get so inspired whenever I come here. Okay. Hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Thank you. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in high school. Usually these kind of contests, they, they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. The zeitgeist is doing some unique stuff this year. Yeah, I prefer art that has specific things in it and not How do these galleries things like right that here? thing on the wall. I mean, yeah, you can call it art. It's kind of cool looking, uh, the way it's arranged into a pattern. Um, but it's definitely not my personal taste. God, I love art. <laughs> Guys, have you ever been in a gallery and just wanted to be like, God, I love art. Out loud to like nobody who's listening at all. You must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. Okay. I'd love to talk about you being a residency next spring. What? Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. Okay, residency, residency, that's awesome. That means you get paid to do art in a place. I wonder if I, sorry, I don't know your name. But I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and uh, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Well, thank you. That looks a lot like, uh, maybe they use the same model, who knows. I don't want to talk to you people yet, I'm bad still doing other things. Bad exposure, bad framing, bad picture. I could have done this so much better. Well, aren't you a self-important dog noggle? Nope, nope. Hello. Um, excuse me, I, I just wanted to tell you how much I loved your photograph. I've seen a lot today, but there's something powerful and understated in yours. I can't wait to see much more of your work in the future. Yeah, me too. Hopefully I have a future. Let's have a seat. Nope, never. <laughs> I can't believe I'm in San Francisco. How can I process this after all the death I've seen this week? I wish Chloe was here with me now. Without her, I couldn't have fought Jefferson. Yeah, and what? she always pushed me to not be shy about my photos. Even if that feels so trivial after what happened with Rachel and Kate. Why didn't Chloe just but come with them? For whatever reason, I have this power. I hope I finally used it right. Money, money, money. <laughs> well, that was that was a nice introspective moment. Thank you. I like games and movies that have moments that that it doesn't have to be everything happening all the time. It's nice. Hello. Hi. Excuse me. You're Max Caulfield, right? Um, I am. Yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Thanks. 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 Whoa. 
And she doesn't comment on that? That's kind of surprising that she doesn't comment on that. Wait, what am I supposed to do? I should find my winning selfie. Oh, okay. There we go. It's not... That's a... Yeah, there it is. Okay, guys. We've been here. Time to go. Let's go... Let's go get some... Some food. Let's go get some food. It's time to... Right? I wanted to just pick up a whole tray of these and just, like... <laughs> tilt it backward. <laughs> and just be like, Oh my god, food! <laughs> I know this is a serious game, but I need... I need a moment of silliness. Sorry. <laughs> this makes me feel so sad. Like I was back in okay. high school. And what's gonna go wrong? Hey, that's my art. Hey, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. And I would argue a lot of people are real artists. They're just not recognized. Oh, snap. Why are you... Whoa. Yeah, that's too easy, isn't it? That's just far too easy. Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, now what? Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. Max, holy shit, man, your vision. It's, it's true. You, you saw the tornado, it's coming. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, stuck. can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Well, shiznizzle. Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Well, I fixed something, oh, but died. not enough. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. Okay, okay. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Okay, she wiped her nose off at least. Um, shit? I do not understand. Well, we've I gone back in enough of those to maybe now. we can just do another. Hold on a sec. Okay, no, it didn't give me anything else to do there. Uh huh. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Okay, we're, we're gonna keep doing this, Max, but there's gonna be a point where you're gonna go too deep. I swear. Excuse me. I'd love to what ask you a few fuck? questions about your work. Sorry, but... Yeah, stop interrupting me. Oh, shit. Oh, my head. That's three deep, Max. That's a little too far. What is going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? Yeah, you're the cause of all this shit, right? Um, damn, Max. My previous timeline was so perfect. What the hell? I'll accept that I need to be in Arcadia Bay, not San Francisco. Um, really? The Zeitgeist Gallery was a trip. Why does somebody so shy like me want to be so be famous for her photographs? I don't care about people kissing my ass. I just want to hang out with the great artists and learn from them. It was so sweet that my work was displayed in a respected gallery and I got to experience that public response, but I'm not a fan of the spotlight. That Berkeley reporter made me feel like I wouldn't even know what to say. Oh yes, this selfie represents my soul. I'd tear up my own pictures if I ever talked like that. But it was so nice to have a safe, peaceful moment for myself where my dreams came true instead of my nightmares. I had a real vision of my future and who I wanted to be, so I won't feel bad about rewinding time once again to destroy my contest photo. The storm is still coming to Arcadia Bay, which means Chloe's life is still in danger. No prize or exhibition is worth losing her again. At least I can use my picture for a truly important reason, and yet again try to fix the machine machineries of time that I keep breaking. Well. Um... 
there's literally nothing else I can do. Okay. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Simple, yeah. This, Chloe, or Max, you've gone a little too deep, hon. I think that you, uh, yeah. This is getting bad to worse. It was already starting to happen in the background of, 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 Okay, so hold on a sec. When I started this episode, the background of where the photos were happening when I was there in that room with Jefferson. Max, do not screw up yeah, this timeline. Yeah, I, I get it, Max. You're almost done. The background was all wonky like this already. So how many times had I been through that before? Oh man, that's just funky. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Okay. No photo to San Francisco. We just let them know. No going to San Fran. Uh huh. Why'd you burn that up? Oh, so now I'm back here again with the burnt photo. Great. Um. What the heck? Stop screwing with the timelines, kiddo. It's just gonna get worse. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Can you repeat the question, please? Uh, eat shit and die. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Yeah, right. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. Well. What the shit now? Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Well, there's no moving out now. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. You have no idea. What the shit? Whoa! Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said... something weird. There's that feeling. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. You're a psycho. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss. I'm going to kick you of youth in the gonads. Just come a little closer. <laughs> At least that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. Well, shit, Max. You can rewind time right now, can't you? 
Oh no, I can't. Lovely. Why not? Why is now the time too many too too deep? Can't rewind. Is this like on the roof with Kate? No going back. There. Now going back. How far back can we go? <laughs> At least that's the last lecture. Okay. Um what the shit? I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What the shit? What? Um the hell? Damn. Um come on, kick his ass, no. dude. What? No, he's you're you're a No, David. No. Oh god. Jesus. We don't need to go back that far. And okay. I promise you. No more nosebleeds. David comes Wait, in. Wait. Hold on. Can I can I please ask you for one last request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? You can't, you psycho biatch. Turn off the lights. One last picture. Turn off the lights. Some water? Can I have some water? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. So is mine. I can need I some please water. have some water? Of course. Don't want, I don't you, want to. you to be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I can't have that. Let's have some water. Thank you. Can I spit it in your face now? Okay, psycho boy. I don't know what that's gonna do for me, if anything. Um, I promise. This final dose won't hurt. That might be enough. We'll see. No. What? Okay, 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 come on. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh, jeez, that's no good. Okay. No, 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 we don't need to... Ugh, I pressed the wrong button. Come on. I always get the two rewind buttons mixed up. And I promise you. Yes. Uh, I wanted some water. Thank you, that's good. Okay. What's the I slow promise. rewind button? Is it trigger or button? Maybe it's button and not trigger. What? That's not gonna do anything. Can I do something else? Oh no, too late. No, just go back a little. Not that far. Oh jeez. Sorry guys, I'm I'm getting a hold of this. You would think I would know it by now after doing this so many times. Alright, yes. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Sure. What? Okay, we just gotta warn at the correct time. One, two, three. Warn. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Because I'm good. <laughs> oh, jeez. That was not fast enough. Okay, no okay. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. What the shit? Oh, okay, that's not good. David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Okay. How far back can we go and resume? Okay, this is the slow rewind. Jefferson, it's over. Grab that bottle. <laughs> uh. That's Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing students. Okay. <laughs> Grab the bottle. Sure, sure. Okay. Jefferson, it's over. Grab that bottle. What else can I do here, though? That's the thing, though. I don't know what else to do. Sorry, Madsen. You should have. <laughs> Grab the bottle. You're only on episode five. It's excusable for screwing up. Yeah, no kidding. Jefferson, it's over. Uh, you are not going to stop table. me. Yes, sir. Oh well, no, that's not Did enough. Okay. You 
are not going to stop me. He's hiding a gun over there. There you go. Oh, that's definitely no good. Sorry, Madsen. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. No. Jeez, you know, I'm going. Max is going through a lot to do this, but whoa, that's not far enough. Hold on. Where the hell? What the hell else can I look at? What? 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 Go going to stop? Grab your gun now. Got it. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know I got him shot. I'm working on that. Okay. It's over. You are not going to stop me. There you go. Enough of the distraction. You're not waking up this time, buddy. Holy oh, shit. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? I'm in yes. one piece. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. I did? What? Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Mm. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. <laughs> really? You're gonna... Okay. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Okay. Shit, no signal. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. I'm surprised that she's letting you, like, just go ahead and walk around. No problem. I had no idea he was this sick. Yeah, nobody did. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, please answer. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Yeah, no kidding. Necklace. Ah. No. Oh, Chloe. What the hell is this? I'm gonna save you for the last time. Please take that, yes. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Absolutely not. Oh, she's gonna pocket it. For a moment, I thought she was gonna wear it. Good. God. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Yeah, no. Nope. It's a studio. Nobody will look at Jefferson's work the same. No, they won't, because he's a psychomaniac. Okay, uh, hi-fi. Every right. song you hear in jail will be yes. torture. Hope so. I'm sorry. I no don't. more fucking guns. Hope not. So gross. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. All right. Scumbag. Huh? Oh, Victoria. Oh. That's Victoria's bracelet. I bet Jefferson was going to use that to frame Nathan. No kidding. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. I can still feel those straps. Uh -huh. Stop, Max. You're free. Huh? Oh. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. What is though? So. Oh, lots of texts. Warren. Seriously, seriously, just tell me to. I have to calm myself down. Max, I'm worried. I'm leaving the part to find you. Sorry. Okay. Taylor, have you seen Victoria? I saw her talking to you. I'm a little freaked out. Okay. Uh, have you seen Chloe? She's not here and she won't. Please tell me that. Again. Please, Max. Oh. Oh. Thanks for kicking my ass to the party. Hung out with Brooke all weekend. She's so cool when we're going to. So remind me to always take your advice. Yeah. How do I even get a photo of duct tape and, and camera? Good God. It's a studio. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. Well, yeah. That's no surprise. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Oh, 
I want to burn all these photos. Yes, I hate looking at me like that. Jesus. I had no idea he was this sick. Nobody did, dude. It's nobody's fault. Eh? No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Ah. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. Yes, he was. Um. Okay. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. David Madsen is on the case. He's still looking still for evidence. Still looking for evidence? Okay. Um. Maybe there's something out here. Is this the barrier as soon as I go past here? That's it. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to miss that no photo. Practice. I don't really want to rewind that far, so. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was going to kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I, you, you suspected everybody. Well, just yeah. <laughs> I never did. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. Just lecture. As part of his sick plans. What a weirdo. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. Well, Kate was bullied. But Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Neutralize? Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and... Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe... And your investigation. Oh, Chloe. I had all the high-tech toys Well, you had each other. And my time rewind ability. Um, yeah. I want to make a note here that, like, this is this is just everybody guilt-tripping about things they could have done. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I, uh, I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not going to make any... Excuses for my behavior. Uh, I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too. But you saw how that went. Wow. You tried. <laughs> you tried. It's obvious you care. Even if your methods are... Fucked up. I know. I'm glad I stood up for you. I try not to... Use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like, except Joyce. She gave me hope, a new life. That's good. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she, she would be proud of you. Would be. I just want to see her safe with her mother. Oh. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> so, where is Chloe? Um, well, about that. Oh, Jesus. Um. Okay. So at this point, I I was gonna go outside and and go back in time, right to an earlier photo, to stop things. So does telling him? I mean, if I tell him the truth, he's gonna go apeshit. 
I think, and and like, cause he he just got down to a nice level calm place, but then he finds out that Chloe's dead, and and Jefferson's the one that killed her. He's gonna go ape shit, I think. So I don't I don't think he needs more of that on his hands to complicate this whole thing. So we're just gonna we're gonna smooth over that. David, um, she was pretty stressed out, so um, she went to go um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. Yeah, no kidding. You've seen enough of this room. Yes, I have seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Jefferson will end up in jail. But Chloe is dead. Oh, no. No. Not for long. Yeah, we're gonna fix that. Um. All this expensive gear. You just know, I'm just gonna. I, I don't. I don't. I don't bullshit. need to do that right now. We're just gonna get out of here. I think I'm done. You're fucked, Jefferson. Yeah, you are, dude. Because, uh, dude, probably shouldn't be touching all of that. And, you know, did you touch the computer afterwards? Did you upload all those photos to the computer? How do we know you didn't upload all those photos to the computer, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Uh, should just let the police do their job and not try to be the police officer. We're going to take the Jefferson Mobile. Freedom. Sort of. Holy shit. This storm is real. Yeah, it I is. Need to find more. Yes. So why why wouldn't you Oh, she's calling him. Warren, can you hear me? <laughs> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah. But why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on yep. my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Wait. Uh, no. Max is gonna drive like crazy girl. Beep beep. Beep beep. Okay, Max. Away you go. Into the crazy. Whoa. So yeah, I've been through Hurricane, and that's what it looks like. What? And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, goddammit, do I pay all those taxes? Okay, whatever. You're ringing. You have one new message. Who called? Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Yesterday. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or... or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Well, shoot. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan, but that doesn't really make up for your prior actions of being an absolute douche canoe. Oh, there's the storm. Whoa. 
that's a car on a thing. What the heck? Hello, wind. Jeez. Jesus. Death is everywhere. Following me. Okay. You all going to be you all going to be okay. 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 Oh, whoops. Oh, that was Do insist. Oh, Max, you do know things. You're such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Yeah, now be I safe. A real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. And get my own selfie with the whale. Come on. Is that a thing I can do? I guess not. Okay. Oh, shit. What the hell? No, we don't want to go in there yet. Um, we'll help you somehow. We've helped you this far. Alyssa needs help again. Again. Please help me get down. Yeah, we're coming. Alyssa is stuck in that house. Alyssa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Yes, yes. Find something. Help me get down, Max. Uh, shit. Uh, here. Use this board. Watch me, like, whack her upside the head with the board accidentally. Use your leverage, Max. There you go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, Alyssa. Take my hand. GTFO. Let's go, let's go. that if I tried to walk through there? I didn't even see where that was. Um, is that the... No, the diner's farther down. So what's going on over here? People in a thing. Oh, uh, hon, you get... How can I get out of here? Um. 
we can make it out of this, Chloe. Sure, Shakespeare in the woods. Sprinkler system? Uh, fly, okay. Oh, this makes me so sad. Um. Oh, here we go. Don't fail me, fuse box. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, shit. That was bad. He's dead. Electrocuted. Let's redo that, shall we? Dude, 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 dude. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Um. Well, son of a. Either I help him or he gets electrocuted, you know? I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Um. How the hell am I supposed to do that and, and help him too? Whoa. Oh, yeah, my journal got burnt up. I forgot. Nothing to read. Sorry I had to run. Cars are flying. Barely made it to two whales. Let me know if you're safe. Sure. Sure thing. Whale on fire. Okay. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock. And if I rewind not far enough, will it be enough? I doubt this is going to make much of a difference. Yeah, oh, hold right trigger to rewind faster. Okay. No, that didn't make any difference. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Kill him, then walk in, then rewind. Oh, good point. Thank you, I see it. Yes. <laughs> Don't fail me. Whoops, fuse wrong box. button. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that happens. Okay. I keep forgetting that I can change the order of actions on things. Alright, um... Please, 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 please. Come on! You have to get out of here right now! I need to breathe! Uh, I need air! In this room. Okay, now what? Oh, I can still reach the fuse box from this side. Got it. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay, I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Is there anything else I didn't do outside, or it's too late to go back out now? It's probably too late to know. No. I miss things. I have the fear of missing out, man. Yeah, I can't go back that way. We're stuck. Okay, onward. Onward. Okay. Way out, yes. Take the way forward and the way out. Good job. Wow. Everything is on fire. That's crazy. Even the whale is on fire. Take a picture of the whale on fire? I'm pretty sure I can. What? Oh shit, okay, we got limited time. Got it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Maybe this is just not something I can do right now. Keep having to do this to get there in time. Because I, I know that car is something I can do. Yes, time is running out. Oh gosh, keep having to rewind and, and go forward. Okay. No need to go there now. No need to go there now? What? Wait, no. There's a fire heading this way. I need to do something. Oh, okay, I first. see what's going on. I missed that. First time. Okay, we gotta do something about the fire. Can we can we kick stuff out of the Okay, hold on. Anything I can do about that? I don't see anything. Oh, here, yeah, sand. Right? Use the sand. Can't use the sand. Okay. Um, 
That sucks. A lot. I feel like I'm, I'm repeating myself without knowing what to do. Because it's not giving me any options for what to do. up. Kaboom. Yeah, we know. Um, maybe there's something back here I can grab. Doesn't look like it, though. Um, no. No. This is, this is one of those things where I'm kind of like, I know what I need to do, but I don't see anything that helps me do what I need to do. If that makes sense. Because it's not giving me any options. Oh, dude, that sucks. Uh, yeah, I, I see what I need to do. It's like right there, just, just let me use the thing something. No. Maybe the back of that thing over there? Hold on. We're doing a lot of rewinding here. That's Warren's car right there. Okay. I can't move the whale. I can't move. Like, there's there's nothing it's letting me interact with. Try closer to where the fire's coming from. Okay. That is something I haven't done yet. Uh, can I get over there? Following the trail. Can I move this log? No. Uh, travel over to where the fire is. No, I can't get over there. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. I have no clue what to do right here. Alright, hold on a second. I just need a moment to reflect, because this is getting a little ridiculous. Um, yeah, journal's burned. Can't do that anymore. Oh, Friday. Yes, Friday is all, all burned. Okay. There's a path of the fire. I can't see anything close to where the path of the fire is that I can touch or interact with. It's not even giving me, like, interaction options close to here. Um, and I am looking, but nothing is jumping in. What about you, whale? Can you help me? Yeah, by the time by the time I can get close enough to do anything about this, it's like it, it's not going to make a difference. It is the sand, yes, but the the problem is, is it's not letting me interact with the sand. So I don't know why. Yeah, I I, I figure it's the sand, but again, it's it's not letting me interact with it. Right? I don't know why. Nothing I can touch here. No prompts, nothing. Do I have to see it explode once and then be like, oh, sand fire? I don't know. Yeah, kabooey. Okay, yes.
Can't go any farther than that. Okay, that's, that's so weird. Like, come on. It shouldn't. Have, it shouldn't have done that. Yes. I should have been fine from the get-go. Ugh. Sometimes games. Sometimes. The monsters are actually the people here. Yeah, I see the car. I'm sure, we'll stop. Let's stop in the middle of the storm to say 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 a cool take a cool. No, it's it's no fault. That's no fault of yours. That's a weird game design choice that I think they should have just gone ahead and let you have it, in my opinion. But you know, there's not a lot I can do about that. It's a whale. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world, but not if I can change it. Nice and casual, let's take a nice little picture of the burning whale of death. <laughs> Alright. We missed a photo, but whatever. Life goes on. That sucks, dude. Um, can I go in the front door? Menu board? Oh no. I wish life was back to simple exit. I really wish it was, too. Can we go in? Damn, this is blocked off. Okay. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Yes, I do. Uh, did we... Yeah, we checked all that. Um... Okay. I hope she's okay. Oh, she's not here. I hope she's in a shelter. I never even asked her name. Okay, let's just casually. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been E6? issued. E6? That's not. Oh, okay, that's bad. At least nobody's going to starve in here. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I s Go get him, Julia. Blackwell bullying. Nice, okay. Do it, Juliet. I believe in you. Um, whoa. Did we? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay. Um, is this safe? Relatively safe? Oh, hey, Warren. Max. Oh, Frank. Whoa. Oh, Max. Hi. Oh, Jesus. I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Are you okay? You blew up. Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. Black Eye okay, Warren. Okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. Literally. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. You're not stupid. You're just as so stuck as we are. Everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Okay. Sorry. We're gonna use this as a stop rap point. No, no. Because I just hit my time. Sorry. Wow. Talk about craziness. We're almost at the end, though, I think. Oh, the puppy. Papa Doe. Hi, Pop. Sorry. I got distracted by Doggy. Uh, I think that that's a good... That's where it's going to stop and re reinstate me if this is the save point. Because it did just save. So we'll hope that that is... Uh, that is good. Otherwise, I really don't have to redo that entire thing next episode. But we might have to do that. So we'll see. Yes, that's fine. Was that a checkpoint or was that a full-on, like, save point? That's another thing. The game is not exactly clear about that, but... That's it for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. We're almost done with this game, and I don't know what's going to happen when we reach the end here. But we'll be there soon. 
I think. And we'll find out what all the craziness is that's going to happen. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I am going to do those squats right now. I have to do 10 of them. So, actually, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a raid and then we'll do those squats. Canter, don't worry. I'm going to do the squats, okay? Let's go ahead and do a raid. Please stick around for that. And as always, guys, take care, stay safe, and aloha. <laughs>